Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Hack Client test video for Minecraft 1.8. So today we're going to have a look at the Ace Hack Client. So it's a premium hack client for 1.8. Premium means you have to buy it, but there's a cracked link, so a cracked version, down below in the description, so make sure you check it out, guys. Bad thing about the cracked version, it's not really up to date, and um, some of the combat hacks are not working. So actually, the whole combat module is broken. That's pretty bad, but um, if you really want to use all the features, you can buy it. I'm not really sure where, but as soon as we'll find it out, I'll buy it and also leave your link down below in the description. But probably they're also going to update the cracked version to make it work with everything. Um, so far, combat hacks are not working, also some other bugs, but I think it's still worth to mention this hack client and to try it because it looks really promising. So what's special about it? We're now here in Minecraft, as you can see, it looks a bit different because I'm using um, a different texture pack, so that's not the hack client. But um, we can go here to options, and as you can see, there's Optifine included. So this is a 1.8 client with Optifine. So not so special, but still pretty good to have. All right, but also all the other mods are pretty cool. Um, there's another button now here in the settings, which is called Ace Mods, because yeah, it's the Ace Head client, so here we have the Ace Mod options. Wow, magic. Okay, um, you can see we have your toggle sneak. So um, if you have played Call of Duty before, any shooters on a computer, you're sprinting mostly with the, with the left shift button, so by default. Now you can also do that here in Minecraft, and um, if you have here enabled toggle sprint and it's set to true, then that means if you hit the shift button, it will just lock it down and that means you're sprinting all the time. Pretty cool, um, same goes for toggle sneak, so I really like that feature, using it a lot. Then um, here on the HUD, so you can show your status, you can switch it to true or, or um, disabled. And here you can also adjust the HUD location. So basically this is the x-axis of your screen, horizontal axis and the y-axis, so up and down on your screen. There's also double tapping, so if you still want to use W double tapping, so um, most people will still do it because you're used to it, um, you can set it here to on, but I um, just have it here on false. Okay, um, enable fly boost. This is basically a um, fly speed booster. It goes up from um, 0 up to 25, so it's really, really fast, guys. Then here we have the options button location, so you can switch it between left and right. That's everything you can do here in toggle sneak. Um, here we have an armor status hut, direction hut, status effect hut, and you can basically switch the turn or off and adjust several things there, so how you want to display everything. Um, the armors and also like the weapons, um, which enchantments, the time and yeah, the durability and everything. Okay, um, here the map writer, so um, this is grayed out so far, but we also have here um, world download and the only thing you can adjust here is um, TNT and dispensers, true or false. And um, I will later tell you what the um, map downloader can do, so it's pretty cool. You can use all the texture packs of this hack client, so it's a cracked version, but still everything is working as it should, except of combat hacks and some other small bugs. Alright, that's basically the main menu, but now I would say, um, let's jump right in, let's go into a multiplayer server. Um, we are playing on the same here again, like I played with Flow, it's survival something. So let's join the server and let's check this out, guys. Alright guys, so now here on this multiplayer server, now let me show you all the features of this hack client, so there we go. Now, as you can see in the right top corner, there we have a minimap, so a minimap is also integrated, it's fully customizable, as you will see later. Now, at the bottom here, um, right over the hangar bar, you can see we have a compass, so it shows in which direction you're going. And on the left side, if you have not seen the text here, it basically shows my toggled um, hacks here, for instance, like sprinting. Alright, um, now let's um, enter the GUI. So in order to do that, you have to press the right shift button. So on the keyboard, it's just right over the right control key, and it's the, the button here with the air up, so for all the computer noobs. Okay, um, this opens up the GUI, so it's auto scale. The bad thing is that it's kind of small, even though you have a, I have a large GUI scale. And I hope you guys can see that. So this is kind of annoying, but what should I do? So you can see here a couple of um, those categories, so boxes, which you can drag and drop around the screen. This is a little bit bugged, so sometimes um, they won't drag and drop, but now it works. And um, you can see here at the top, there's a console and several buttons. So let's quickly go through all that crap. Now, as always, you have commands in there. So you can enter them directly into the console, if you know how that works. Or um, you just type here, help. So just click at the console, type help, uh, there we go, help. And um, if you go out of the GUI, you will see um, in, the, in the chat, so if you open it up, um, all the commands you can enter directly into the console. So that's a friend list, um, you can toggle modals, you can enchant things, you can add waypoints, you can add friends in the hack client, you can join other friend servers, um, works on Ace 1.4, the version of Ace we're using here right now, so the, the version which is cracked is 1.6. 
Okay, um, yeah, that's basically everything um, we can find in here. So you'll find all the commands there and also the explanation. So I don't need to explain anything here. Okay, now let's re-enter the GUI, so the graphical user interface, and there we go. Um, right shift button, and here we have several um, of those buttons here at the top, which you can click. So um, this one here, the power button, disables the ACE hack client, so it will just shut off the whole hack client, okay? Here we have switch mode, for instance, um, disables name tags, notifications, and friends, and this is in rage mode here, so you can kill everything. And there we go. Um, here we have the record button, so um, yeah, this... Um, will deactivate friends for instance x-ray and everything so it won't show any obvious hacks if you're recording okay and here we have an rebind button so if you press that you can actually just press a, um, a hack and then uh, so you just have to click the modal and then you have to press the button on the keyboard to assign it to and right click for instance is unbind so this is straightforward but kind of bugged in this version Okay, um, then let's have a look at the boxes. So in there you will find all the hacks. As always, this is drag and drop, so you can drag and drop the boxes here around the screen. We have here player hacks, we have combat hacks, which are broken, unfortunately. We have rendering hacks, we have hacks for factions, and I play factions pretty a lot, so this is cool. We have an ace configuration, and miscellaneous hacks, and we have world hacks. So let's have a look at all this crap, right? Um, I want to get started here with the miscellaneous hacks. So we have a panic button which will just shut off all the hacks. So this is really easy. We have a plugin file. Now this is a vanilla server. So as you can see, um, yeah, also this one here timed out right now. So no plugins found on this server. Then here we have the record mode button. This is the same like at the top. It will just deactivate all the obvious hacks. So if you have hacks real on, you hit that button, um, for instance, it's off. Then here we have a GPS tracker, so it tracks your activity. We have macros. Um, yeah, you can actually, well, I can do that. Okay, key macro is the format, and you have to you have to um, create a macro txt file. It has to be in the correct folder, as you can see in the chat, and you have to um, put in the macros in the correct format. Not going to um, go through that because, yeah, everyone knows probably how to use macros. If not, just leave a comment down below. Then here we have the frame button. So as you can see, um, here you can enter targets, and here, for instance, Jesus, Aura, Derp, or Headless Mode. And here, an Auto Reconnect button, and which also can be configured, and you can also execute here commands. Okay, um, that are the miscellaneous hacks. The combat hacks are um, unfortunately broken. So we have an Auto Clicker, which I guess would be the Kill Aura. Absolutely not working. Um, so clicks per second, that's, for instance, here the speed and the delay. Um, you can add here from 1 millisecond, which is almost nothing, to around 125, but it's not working at all. We have here also PvP help, um, potion saver, aim assist, so a normal aimbot, and also you can set the aim assist speed, so if it looks more natural with a slower speed, so you should find a speed which um, looks quite natural. Okay, here we have player hacks, so free cam, go out of your body, um, explore the area here in rendering distance, so here you can see me. Um, let's go back to the GUI. Um, free cam can be adjusted, so if you get attacked, it will just um, drag you back, for instance. You can enable that. And remember location, also pretty cool. We have velocity, so no knockback in PvP. That's working for me. Um, there's a bow booster. If you have the punch two enchantments, um, there's, for instance, a multiplier for the horizontal, vertical, and also here's a punch two boost. Okay, um, we have your notifications. So. For instance, if the server stops responding, you will get a message, hey, so it stopped working, PM alert, and MC MMO abilities. Um, we have safe walk, so I can deactivate free cam. Um, safe walk should now be activated, so you see I'm not falling down here. So pretty um, simple feature. We have, for instance, also here anti-AFK. Um, you can choose it between jumping and walking, and there's also wait time. We have a friend list for sure. Um, you can activate your auto TPA accepts for friends, and also here you can set a delay from zero up to around three seconds. Um, here auto hacks, um, auto feed. So um, to feed yourself, um, there's an auto fix and also auto sell. So if your inventory is full, you can do it um, for using it for bot um, usage. Okay, and here you can see also feed at um, which hunger percentage or level you should actually eat. Okay, um, here we have world hacks. Now, world hacks only Fulbright in there, so nothing special. Fulbright is working for me. Then here we have some rendering hacks. 
So it shows you, for instance, enchanted things. We have here a normal ESP, which is um, also customizable. So um, you can set here all the entities you want to see and also um, the line width. So the outline here, big outline, small outline, whatever you prefer. We have here find, so you can type in here whatever you want to find, all displayed in the ESP. We have an, um, yeah, okay, another ESP here. We have here name tags, as you can see, they're kind of big, and name tags are also showing, for instance, um, which armor here, and yeah, pretty cool. It even shows the enchantment, so looks cool. Um, we have here in search, so draw boxes around certain items which can be customized. So you just have to um, click here at the blocks, the range you want to see them and it goes up to 400, the updates in seconds, and also the limit, so if there are too many. Okay, um, we have traces, and which they can be activated here, so let's see if they are working. And so far as I can see, um, traces are also broken, so actually I haven't um, used this. Oh, sorry, it was not activated. Um, there we go. So traces, really big lines right now. Um, lines can also be customized here. So the width is the um, thickness of the line. Okay, sorry, um, this was not activated. But the combat hacks are definitely broken. Broken. So if I just activate here the auto clicker, you can now also see the um, the HUD here in the right bottom corner. So um, which hacks are currently activated? You see, auto clicker. So Killora is not working. Okay, um, we have X-Ray, um, I just activated by pressing the X button, so that's the default keybind. Um, I have to close some of the things here, it's too big for the screen. And there we go. And um, X-Ray is um, for sure also customizable, cannon, liquids. Um, here you can set the opacity, as you can see, so if you need that. And here um, also you can just activate the blocks you want to see in X-Ray mode, like ores or just TNT or just chests or whatever. We have for sure breadcrumbs. So this draws a line behind you, um, um, yeah, that's it. Um, we also have here chunk borders. There are many, many things in there. So I think I won't go here for everything, but we also have in world edit ESP. We have waypoints. Um, you can also use the commands for waypoints. And here also um, there's explosion time, which shows, um, I think that's, if in TNT explodes, it shows the seconds left until it explodes. Um, we have here factions, and yeah, there are things like chest stealers, so you can quickly steal all that. Oh, by the way, there's also a description for the hack, so if you're not sure what the hack is doing, just hover with the mouse over the hack, or over the module, and we'll tell you what it's doing. For some, probably there's no description. So, pretty cool thing is there's also no lag, so um, you can adjust here the entity rendering um, distance, and also here, um, no hopper, no TNT, so it will probably also boost um, your FPS a bit, and with Optifine included, for sure you can tweak it as you want to. We have a TNT detector, so this plays a sound whenever TNT is around, so it's pretty cool. We have here audit, um, we have spawners, we have minimal TNT selection tools, so all the faction hacks, and you can also Google them or just hover with the mouse over there, which will explain what the hack is doing. We have here ace config, so um, for instance, there's um, startup enabled, so if you um, just tick that, it will just load up everything on startup. And if you want to see Ace Capes or not, and you can adjust the GUI color. So it's, an, it's like an RGB color changer, not so many colors. Um, as you can see, it changes the color here between red, green, blue, yellow, orange. Okay, it's not an RGB mixer, but at least you have like, I don't know, six, seven different colors. Okay, um, that was the GUI. So that's pretty straightforward. It has a lot of graphical mods, which I, I like. The only bad thing is that the combat hacks are broken and also pretty like that there are many faction hacks in there. All right, um, I see already 10 minutes here in the game. <laughs> we really talk a lot today. Um, you can see here um, the menu escape and the cool thing of this hack line is you can download the world. For instance, if you really love the world of a server, you just go here to download and this will then um, download the map. You can also see the progress. So we can go here, for instance, to the settings too. You can stop here the download. So as you can see, that was the progress. And here under this advanced menu, you can um, say here, for instance, start automatically, only menu. Then there are different world overrides, so you can change several things on the map if you want to. And player overrides, entity options. So also some debug options if, if the map can't be downloaded or some things are messed up, okay? 
All right, that's everything you can do with the hack client. It's pretty cool. I think um, that were all the features. I hope I didn't forget anything, but I just wanted to show you this amazing client. I hope um, that there also will be an updated version. I will now just check out where I can buy it, how much it is. And I also need to check out um, if they're going to update here the cracked version because for me it's broken. And I think also for other people, the combat hacks are broken. But make sure you check it out, guys. The link is down below in the description. So no PvP gameplay today because the damn combat hacks are, um, are broken. Okay, the server is now lagging a lot anyway so you've also also seen that message pretty cool if the server lags you will get that message so if the ping is fucked up and yeah that's the ASA client make sure you check it out link down below have a nice day guys and see you soon in the next hack client review stay fresh